ദ ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസ് പാർ എൻ്റർപ്രണർഷിപ്പ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ലെറ്റ് എ സി ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ എൻ്റർപ്രണർഷിപ്പ് ഇസ് ദി ബാക്ക് ബോൺ ഓഫ് ഇക്കണോമിക് ഗ്രോത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ എനി കൺട്രി ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ദ പ്രൊമോഷൻ ആൻഡ് സസ്റ്റനൻസ് ഓഫ് എൻ്റർപ്രണർഷിപ്പ് പ്ലേ എ പിവട്ടൽ റോൾ ഇൻ അച്ചീവിംഗ് ദ എക്കണോമിക് പ്രോസ്പെറിറ്റി ജനറേറ്റിംഗ് എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് അഡ്രസ്സിംഗ് വേരിയസ് സോഷ്യോ എക്കണോമിക് ചാലഞ്ചസ് എ ക്രിട്ടിക്കൽ ഫാക്ടർ ഇൻ പോസ്റ്ററിംഗ് എൻ്റർപ്രണർഷിപ്പ് ഈസ് ആക്സസ് ടു ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ റിസോഴ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ഇന്ത്യ ഹാസ് എ വെൽ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസ് ഡെഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ടു സപ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് ആൻഡ് നർച്ചറിംഗ് എൻ്റർപ്രണർഷിപ്പ് എൻ്റർപ്രണറിയൽ എൻഡിയവേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ലെക്ചർ വി വിൽ സി ദ റോൾ ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസ് ഇൻ എൻ്റർപ്രണർഷിപ്പ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ highlighting their significance mechanisms and challenges role of financial institutions first one capital access financial institutions in india such as banks non banking financial companies uh, so in short form it is called as nbfcs and <coughs> venture capital firms provide entrepreneurs with access to capital these institutions offer a range of financial products including loans credit lines and equity investments this capital serves as the life blood of startups and small businesses enabling them to initiate and scale their operations second point risk mitigation entrepreneurship involves the risk and financial institutions play a vital role in mitigating the risk they provide various risk management tools including insurance and hedging products to the to protected entrepreneurs from unforeseen events such as natural disasters market fluctuations or business disruptions third point financial literacy and training many financial institutions in india offer financial literacy programs and training to entrepreneurs these programs help aspiring business owners understand financial concepts manage their finances effectively and make informed decisions knowledge about financial planning and management is a crucial role of the success of any entrepreneurial venture fourth point technical assistance some financial institutions go beyond providing capital offer uh, and offer a technical assistance to entrepreneurs they help businesses in areas such as business planning strategy development and market analysis thereby enhancing their chances of success fifth point government support several financial institutions in india work in partnership with government schemes and initiatives designed to promote entrepreneurship these institutions administer and disburse loans and grants under various government programs making it easier for entrepreneurs to access funding mechanisms for entrepreneurship development first one startup loans banks or specialized institutions and offer startup loans to new entrepreneurs enabling them to fund their initial expenses acquire assets and hire staff these loans often come with favorable terms and lower interest rates to encourage entrepreneurship second point venture capital and private equity venture capital firms and private equity investors are crucial sources 
of funding for innovative and high growth startups they typically invest in exchange for equity in the company providing not only capital but also expertise and mentorship third point microfinance microfinance institutions play a vital role in supporting micro entrepreneurs and small businesses in rural and underserved areas they offer small loans without the need for traditional collateral and are instrumental in achieving elevating poverty and promoting entrepreneurship fourth point credit guarantee schemes the credit guarantee fund tra- trust for micro and small enterprises in short form it is called as cgt mse is an example of a government backed initiative that provides credit guarantee to financial institutions this encourages banks to lend to small enterprises by reducing the risk associated with defaults next we will see about challenges and future prospects while financial institutions have significantly contributed to entrepreneurship development in india several challenges remain first one access disparities there is a need to improve access to financial services especially in rural and remote areas many entrepreneurs in such regions still struggle, struggle to secure funding due to lack of banking infrastructure second point collateral requirements traditional lending often requires collateral which can be a major impediment for early stage entrepreneurs who may not have significant assets to pledge third point high interest rates interest rates in india while gradually decreasing can still be relatively high this poses a financial burden on entrepreneurs particularly in the early stages of the business development fourth point regulatory challenges regulatory compliance challenges can be a barrier for both financial institutions and entrepreneurs streamlining and simplifying regulatory processes can enhance the effectiveness of entrepreneurship development programs the future of financial institutions in entrepreneurship development in india is promising with the government's continued focus on initiatives like make in india and startup india financial institutions are likely to play an even more crucial critical role in providing the necessary financial resources and support for budding entrepreneurs additionally the rise of fintech firms and innovative lending platforms is challenging the landscape making it easier for entrepreneurs to access capital financial institutions play a critical role in fostering entrepreneurship and economic development in india there are two primary categories of financial institutions involved in entrepreneurship development all india financial institutions and state level financial institutions now let us see in detail about the all india financial institutions they are first one small industries development bank of india in short form sidbi 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 is one of the most prominent 
ஆல் இண்டியா ஃபைனான்ஷியல் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ஸ் இன் இந்தியா எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்ட் இன் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி இட்ஸ் ப்ரைமரி ஃபோக்கஸ் இஸ் டு ப்ரொவைட் ஃபைனான்ஷியல் அண்ட் நான் ஃபைனான்ஷியல் சப்போர்ட் டு ஸ்மால் அண்ட் மீடியம் சைஸ் என்டர்பிரைசஸ் சிட்பி ஆஃபர்ஸ் வேரியஸ் ஃபைனான்ஷியல் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் இன்க்ளூடிங் லோன்ஸ் ஈக்விட்டி ஃபைனான்சிங் அண்ட் வெஞ்சர் கேபிட்டல் டு சப்போர்ட் என்டர்பிரனர்ஷிப் அட் மைக்ரோ ஸ்மால் அண்ட் மீடியம் ஸ்கேல்ஸ் இட் ஆல்சோ ஆப்ரேட் செவரல் ஸ்கீம்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் டு ப்ரொமோட் இனோவேஷன் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி அடாப்ஷன் அமாங் என்டர்பிரனர்ஸ் செகண்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் டெவலப்மெண்ட் பேங்க் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஐடிபிஐ ஐடிபிஐ இஸ் ஏ ஃபைனான்சியல் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ஸ் தட் ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் லாங் டேம் ஃபைனான்ஸ் அண்ட் சப்போர்ட்ஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஆல்தோ இட் வாஸ் இனிஷியலி கிரியேட்டட் ஆஸ் எ டெவலப்மெண்ட் பேங்க் இட் ஹேஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம்ட் இன் டு கமர்ஷியல் பேங்க்ஸ் வாயில் இட்ஸ் ப்ரைமரி ஃபோக்கஸ் ஹேஸ் ஷிஃப்டட் ஐடிபிஐ ஸ்டில் சப்போர்ட்ஸ் entrepreneurship by offering various financial services and products to business businesses and industries third one national bank for agricultural and rural development nabard nabard focuses on agricultural and rural development in india it plays a significant role in supporting rural entrepreneurs particularly in the agricultural and agri business section nabard offers financial assistance credit facilities and rural development programs to promote entrepreneurship in rural areas fourth run export import bank of india exim bank exim bank is a response is responsible for promoting india's international trade it assists indian entrepreneurs particularly exporters by providing financial and advisory services it offers various financing programs and export credit insurance to support entrepreneurs engaged in export oriented businesses next we will see about the state level financial institutions state level financial institutions operate at the state level and are dedicating to promote promoting entrepreneurship and economic development within their respective states these institutions play a crucial role in addressing the specific needs and priorities of the states entrepreneurs some notable state level financial institutions is include a state financial corporation simply sfc sfcs are state level financial institutions established to support small and medium scale industries in each state they provide financial assistance introduce including term loans working capital loans and machinery loans state financial corporations collaborate with the state government and central agencies to implement various schemes and programs aimed at entrepreneurship development next one state industrial development corporations sidcs operate sidcs operate at the state level and are responsible for promoting industrial development they support entrepreneurship by providing infrastructure land and facilities to entrepreneurs sidcs also offer financial assistance to set up industrial projects and business units within the state state agricultural and rural development banks 
many states have their own agricultural and rural uh, development banks that focus on supporting rural entrepreneurs engaged in agriculture agri businesses and allied sectors these banks offer agricultural and rural credit as well as schemes to encourage entrepreneurship in rural areas fourth one state women's development corporations some states have institutions like women development corporation that provide financial support and guidance to women entrepreneurs they offer loans training and other institutions to empower women in business businesses certainly let's delve into the details of financial institutions IDBA Bank IFCA ICICI Bank and IRBI and that means Industrial Reconstruction Bank of India first let us see about IDBA Bank Industrial Development Bank of India IDBA Bank was established in 1964 as a financial institution that primarily focused on providing long term uh, financing and support for industrial projects in india it played a crucial role in the country's industrialization and development however it later transformed into a commercial bank and we renamed idba bank in 2004 Uh, the role of idb bank is a commercial bank offers wide range of financial products and services to individuals businesses and industries it provides retail and corporate banking services including loans savings account current account and various industrial products investment products significance of idba idba bank continues to play a role in financing and supporting entrepreneurs and businesses in india though its initial focus on industrial development has expanded to include commercial banking services second one ifca the expansion of ifca is industrial finance corporation of india ifca established in 1948 is one of the india's oldest financial institutions its primary mission is to provide financial assistance and support to various industrial and infrastructure projects in the country the role of ifca is ifca primarily focuses on long term financing for industrial development it offers loan equity financing and advisory services to support entrepreneurs and businesses ifca also plays a role in promoting entrepreneurship by aiding a project financing the significance of ifca is ifca has been playing a key player in providing financial resources to industrial projects and fostering entrepreneurship by offering necessary capital and guidance third one icic bank industrial credit and investment corporation of india icic bank is one of the india's leading private sector banks it was established in 1994 as a financial institution but has since evolved into a full fledged commercial bank 
The role of ICC Bank is a comprehensive commercial bank providing a wide array of financial services to individual individuals, businesses and corporate clients. It offers services such as retail banking, corporate banking, investment banking and wealth management. Significance of ICIC Bank is yes, it's a significant player in the Indian banking sector while its origins are as a financial institution. It has tra- transitioned into a commercial bank that caters to the diverse financial needs of the businesses and entrepreneurs in India. Next one, IRBA, Industrial Reconstruction Bank of India. The Industrial Reconstruction Bank of India, simply IRBA, was established in 1985. Its primary focus was to provide financial assistance and support to revive and rehabilitate sick industrial units and projects in India. The role of IRBA was instrumental in providing financial support to industries facing distress and in need of revival. It aimed to prevent the closure of viable industrial units and promote the rehabilitation. Significance of IRBA IRBA played a significant role in addressing the challenges faced by Sikh industries and promoting entrepreneurship by helping businesses recover from financial difficulties. Summary Financial institutions are the backbone of entrepreneurship development in India, playing a pivotal role in providing capital, managing risk, offering training and administering government support. However, challenges such as access disparities, collateral requirements and regulatory complexities persist. Overcoming these challenges is crucial to ensuring that financial institutions continue to foster a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem that derives economic growth and social development in India. Entrepreneurs, government agencies and financial institutions must work together to create an environment conducive to innovation and entrepreneurship.